Welcome to Ask Mo TV. We are here today with Dr. Michael Wall, Doctor of Nutrition and Director of Nutritional Services at Integrated Medicine of Mount Kisco, PC. Our topic today is aging and inflammation. Why and how is the aging process closely integrated with inflammation? Well, that's a great question. First of all, most of us don't realize that the only reason we age is because our genetics cause a poor control of inflammation over the course of our lifetimes, and that causes cells, tissues, and organ systems to break down, which is the definition of aging. So there is no aging without inflammation, and there's, inf then there's no inflammation without aging. What nutritional supplements are recommended for an elderly person suffering from inflammation? So when we're dealing with just inflammation in an elderly person, uh, we'd want to think about you know, where that inflammation is. So if that inflammation is in their joints, then nutritional supplements that consist of things like chondroitin sulfate and glucosamine uh, sulfate, uh, vitamin D, uh, vitamin C, something called MSM, uh, folic acid, B12, these are all the types of things that might help inflammation in joints. Um, a, an elderly person might have inflammation overall because they're just undernourished. Many older people do not eat well, therefore their bodies break down inappropriately and they can have inflammation that they otherwise uh, may not have, uh, they might not have. Uh, dehydration is another common cause of inflammation or something that can worsen inflammation in, any, in someone of any age, uh, particularly an older person. And again, there are a variety of nutrients that can be used for an elderly person or a person of any age with inflammation and pain, but they should be based on the health problem, uh, where the inflammation is, and what their laboratory work uh, says in terms of what their needs are. So, for example, an elderly person with a testosterone deficiency with pain probably would be helped if they were given testosterone, or if they had a growth hormone problem, these hormones, or, or DHEA, adrenal hormone, or estrogen or progesterone, depending on what hormones they might need, they can help tissues repair so elderly people and younger people wishing to avoid the ravages of accelerated or inappropriate aging could either avoid indefinitely or certainly offset dramatically. What preventative strategies can be used to opt for aging? Well, the first thing in terms of preventative strategies for aging is again to, to keep an eye on the diet. Keep the diet low in refined and processed and simple sugars and, and uh, processed carbohydrates to eat meat only very occasionally, if at all, to have a diet that's high in, in unprocessed and uh, foods and, and abundant in fruits and vegetables, high in water, not smoking, not drinking, having a regular exercise uh, routine. It's really regularity. These are some of the things. I certainly believe in everyone taking a multivitamin and perhaps taking more complex nutrition based on detailed nutritional laboratory work, which can give a, an individual an edge over the aging process so that we age more appropriately. You can't avoid aging, and, uh, and aging uh, is concomitant. It comes along with different diseases, but we can offset dramatically by months, years, or even decades uh, premature uh, health issues that are concomitant with aging that are not actually from the aging process. So some of those things I mentioned are the preventative uh, strategies, and I probably should certainly mention managing stress. Uh, you know, stress is an internalized uh, interpretation of external events in life, so the better that one develops their internal and personal coping strategies in terms of uh, dealing with life will go uh, quite a long way uh, in uh, offsetting, uh, interpreting things in life that otherwise would have detrimental effects upon, upon the body which would increase our risk of disease and degeneration overall. This has been Dr. Michael Wall.